Hey guys, this video you're about to watch is with young Bella, a Border Collie, uh, a reactive dog. A little bit nervous with people, but mainly reactive with dogs, lead reactivity. Uh, it's a nice little video. It's going to give you some tips to work with with your dogs. We've got a good outcome at the end. There's always more work to be done, but we get great results in one session. And uh, hopefully you guys get some tips out of this that you can implement with your dogs that you might have some reactivity problems with. Enjoy. Behavioural and corrective issues are fixed according to obviously the dog, but your skill level and how you apply it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dogs will, they will act on to a level what you allow them to do. So if you're not a good handler, even though you think you're trying the right way, if you're trying to, trying to correct them the wrong way, they're just gonna not respond to it unless you have the correct method. Because look, a lot of the time people try to correct dogs, but they use very human style corrections, which is like anthropomorphism, where you're putting human qualities in animals. So you're like, how you would stop a child being aggressive is not how you would stop a dog being aggressive necessarily. Very different. Child speaks English. You can go, hey, now calm down, Dubba. You speak, hey, calm down to a dog, high voice. Dog hears, hey, calm down, nice voice. Remember we said about English before? Yep. So it's your voice inflection that's everything mm -hmm. and it's your equipment, okay? I want you to walk her over towards my dog. Does she sometimes, is she sometimes a silent attacker where she comes in like this? Yeah, quiet. she just goes in hard. Yeah. Sometimes she'll just snarl like that. Hey, quit it. Yep, yeah, just wherever around there. I just want to see her around. I want to see what triggers her. She might like my dog. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. there's some dog she selects that she yeah. likes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been trying to sort of work that out. Well, the, one of the best signs you're looking for, you see what's happening here? She's wanting to greet how dogs should greet, okay. hey, which is at the back end. If she's coming up looking for eye contact, that's something we don't want. We want to try and avoid that. Now that little snarl she's given there, she's given a little that sort of go away snarl. Like I told you, it's very fear-based, mm -hmm. nervous, yep. okay? I'm not going to condone that behavior, but I'm also not going to go overreact to it because she's nervous, okay? okay? And she's okay. just trying to tell my dog to go away. Some of your best feedback, well, not some, your best feedback to whether your dog is very serious and really going to look to attack badly yep. is the other dog. Okay. Is my dog terrified and scared and running away? No. Oh, so he reads body language better than we do. Yeah. He saw her snarl, but he went, mm, oh, whatever, no worries, okay? Yeah. So we're going to bring it back over a little bit. Bella, come. Nash. Good girl. Good boy. Yeah. yeah, let her know she's doing good. Bring her over. Good girl. Good girl. Now we're going to go, go for a few Bella. dogs. There's going to be dogs she's going to react to. Good girl. Good, girl, Bella. good dog. Good, girl. Good, girl. good. Good boy, good Nash. Good boy. Good, girl, good boy. Bella. Good. And then what I would do for getting her socialized, yep. if that's really good, good I'd always Bella. end it on a good note. So I'd go, cool. Now we take her away good and we have a Bella. successful meeting. See there, from a distance, she's doing that snarl from there, okay? Yeah. Now, so we've gone with the, the collar like that, which you can see when she pulls in, gives you trouble to how to manage her. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to that other lead. Ah, oh, yeah, that method, yeah. Okay. yeah. Now, what we're going to do now is you're going to take my dog off the fence there. His name's Nash. And I'm going to handle Bella. Now... For one thing, what this does, it can really trip your dog out because she's like, she's, she's being normally being aggressive towards a dog with a person she doesn't know. Now she sees you there with my dog. She's like, yeah. what is going on here? Yeah, yeah. Now walk my dog over. Good girl, Bella. See how she's focused on you and yeah. not my dog? Yeah. So it doesn't mean you can do it with every dog, but it's not a bad thing to better. Sort of confuse your dog a bit. Because yeah, yeah. she doesn't want that aggressive towards you. No. She's not even no. focused on my dog now. You know what I mean? Yeah. So psychology-wise, yeah. it really can spin her out. Yeah, so this is something I would do when you're walking, and I'm sure you know a lot of people. Yeah. When you stop, go, hey, if you know the dog, just swap dogs for a second, see what happens yeah. and see her. Yeah. She's way more relaxed sitting there going, eh, whatever. Yeah. Okay, good girl. Doesn't mean she's never going to snarl again. Okay, so I'm going to stay here, and you're going to do your best at what the method I tried. You're going to walk towards me. You're going to give her the whole lead. Get ready with both hands on the end of it. Get that pop. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. So 
So I want to see if she'll do this with me with the lead. She probably won't. We'll see. I'm not even thinking about it. Yeah? So it's a you thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not protectiveness. She's not a guardian yeah. breed. Good girl. And I'll tell you why I didn't correct there. Because mm -hmm. she's not, she's just doing enough. She's nervous. Yep. So there's a fine line between correcting a, just a nervous dog and then a dog that's aggressive. Like that one there a minute ago, that was correctable. Yep. That little one there that she did with that staff, it was like, a, I just, I'm a, I want to meet you, but I'm a bit edgy. I don't know. Okay, okay. So we've got to be careful we don't, yeah, you know, yeah. it's hard to correct a scared dog. Yes. Because she is, she's nervous. Yeah. So I know I said about no gray areas before, but this isn't a gray area. That behavior yes. was very different to that behavior. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. She was very close to that dog and she didn't lunge at him. Bella, <whistles> let's go. Good girl. So this is a tricky one because she's not doing it to me, so I can't correct her. Good girl. Uh -uh. Good girl. No. Hey, quit it. Good girl. Good girl. No, yes, I'm correcting it, but I'm not yeah. grabbing the lead and overreacting yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's not terrible dog behavior. Yeah. It's not. Tell her she's just, tell her to just chill, but I'm not going to grab it and correct her and be physical with her. Yeah. She's shy, she's nervous, but I don't want to, because that's not going to get her to meet dogs. It can also get the other dogs offside. So we just need her to chill out oh. a bit. But yeah, Lasada, it's just giving that, hey, quit it. But then don't get overly involved. Too many people go, hey, quit it, grab the lead, run away, quick, oh my God, my dog bared its teeth at a dog. Just like, calm down. Yeah. It's only bearing its teeth. We see it in our daycare every single day with multiple dogs. Yeah, it's just their way of communicating. Yeah. Going, hey, stay away from me. Yeah. We speak English. Dog's language is showing your teeth. The other dog goes, teeth means stay away. Leave it. Leave it. Sit. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Not a lot. Just got to get sharper yeah, with that yeah, correction. Okay. okay. Okay, you're now going to try. Good. That one. That one. That one. Did you see that? She went. Do you feel the snap? She went. Oh. Sh that one was real. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. That was a real, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to watch a video on that one because there was a very distinct moment. She's given little snarls there, but she's not lunging. Shh, stop, don't you start. Okay, now put her in a sit. Bella, sit. Make Bella, her do it. Sit. Good. Good okay. Girl. Good girl. So we've got we to gotta choose our battles. Mm. We've now broken through that little part there. Okay, there's little snarls there. We can work with them. Okay. They can go. But that lunging stuff, that's what you're talking about. That's yeah, out of control. Yeah, yeah. That's the bad one. Yeah. That moment where you got that pop and yeah. she went, whoa, and she went, uh, and went, yeah, okay. I think it's feeling that, yeah. right? Being at the right and I know, yeah. and I know people watch these videos and go, oh, that's cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. I go, see ya, thank you. Um, I know they watch these videos and go, oh, that's cool. I go, well, you fix it. What are you going to do? Why well, are you going to tell me to work at a threshold, stay 50 meters from every dog? which I can't do in a town of 7,000 dogs. Are you going to use biscuits? That's not going to work. Yep. How do we fix this dog? I realize it's firm, but we can't accept this behavior because if this dog bites another dog, your dog's report as a dangerous dog and you've got bigger issues than that to deal with. So we have to get through, we've got to snap through this brain. It's not that I ever, I never enjoy correcting a dog, but for a little bit of work that we do, a little bit of force, we can get a long-term change yep. and she can understand. You're just teaching, that's not acceptable. Now, I feel now that you're getting this technique, I can bring dog after dog now, and I reckon you're going to get better at it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, what I really appreciate is if you hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying my content, it means a lot to me, and I'll keep bringing you these new videos to help you out with your dogs. I get excited because I'm telling you, that was a big moment, that correction you gave. And it was tempting for me to go, give me the lead, but I need you to do it. Okay, because it's your dog, not mine. Now, She's not even anxious how she's sitting there now. Her mouth was open a second ago. Yeah. 
Now, we're not asking her to be friends with every dog. Okay, that's great. But we just want about to walk your dog on lead and not be a psycho. We're going to see this time how quick we can get through to her. Good. Okay, good. Let her stand there for a bit. Okay, let's put her in a sit. Make her do it. Don't ask again. One command, one response. Pop that lead. Now make her sit. Don't ask again. Pop that lead up and physically make her sit. Put her beside you. Good. Now, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but you tell me. Do you think you... Now, she was going to go the same way then. Do you see how much quicker you got control, yes or no? Okay, she wanted to keep going, but she went, gee, she's getting pretty serious. Where we need to fix those, when you tell her to sit, it's not, hey, sit, sit, it's like this. Shep, sit, doesn't do it, you're now in a sit. I'm not asking you twice, I'm not waiting five seconds. I've got to calm myself down sometimes. I, I know I get intense because I love what I do, but yeah. I, like I go on a rant. If you allow her to wait five seconds to sit, you might as well let her keep barking at dogs. Yeah. Sit now. Not waiting. It's not sit, 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 here's a biscuit. It's like sit now. Because you, if you can't make a dog sit straight away, you're not going to get a stop in barking at dogs. Because she doesn't even respect you to sit. How do you, how do you expect, no, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to people in general. How do you as people expect your dog to stop barking when you can't make your dog sit? Okay, so name before command. Shorten your lead up a bit now for the sit. Now, her name? Bella. Sit. Better. Okay, so I want name before command. Laney, if you were behind that truck there, my car, and you forgot your lead, I wouldn't yell out, you forgot your lead, Laney. I would go, Laney, I'd wait till you look at me, yep. and I'd go, hey, your lead's here. Yeah, so name before command. Get her engagement. She goes, yeah, what's up? You go, now sit. Okay? I get it, I'm getting like this, because I'm getting excited, because we're getting somewhere. Yeah. You're going to have a different dog, and I can feel it. So we're just working through these dogs. Keep her there, tell her to stay. You can reinforce to leave it. If you find she gets engaged again and think, like, and you, can, you know your dog's thinking. Yeah. If you find she, you think she's thinking about moving, you can reinforce to leave it. I don't think she is. She's pretty relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Good girl, Bella. Good dog. Very good. Good girl. Good, girl. good boy, Shep. Give her the leave it. Leave it. Walk on by. Beautiful. Easy. Turn it around. Let's go dog to dog. Good girl. Good girl. Turn it around. Third step. We stop near each other, put them in a sit. One to you sit. Make her do it. And we do this. Hey, how you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. How's your dog going? So we're being, we're being in a real world here. This is called yep. proofing. So you learn a behavior, then you proof it, which is okay. test it. Yep. So this is trying to simulate you going for a walk, see one of your mates on a walk, you yep. stop and have a chat. Yep. Okay, and we go, hey, oh, nice, Bella's doing good. Training's getting better, you know? We don't avoid the problem, we confront it, yeah. okay? okay? We're not gonna run the other way anymore. We're gonna teach you mm -hmm. Bella. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna deal with this behavior. Good. good and, and when you're in this position, because you got your dog how she is, you always stand, have that little bit of, so you're loose, yeah. but I'm like this. So if she so changes her mind and goes to lunch, but see how I'm relaxed? Yep. So you have one foot back and you're just chatting, but you just got, you know, you got a third eye because you know your dog. Yep. In case she suddenly goes, you know what? I don't like this dog, bang. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, good. Now I'm gonna sort of circle around, I'm gonna go back and change dogs. Okay. Beautiful. Reinforce Good. that, leave it. Good, walk with confidence, praise your dog. Good, turn it around. Now we stop and we sit our dogs. Sit. Bella, sit, sit. Make her do it, don't ask sit. again, one command. Let's try and remember that, we're only asking once. Remember, if you can't make your dog sit, she's not gonna not bark. Okay. She's gotta listen to you, mm -hmm. okay? Turn her back around. Bella. Shorten your left hand on the lead and give it a sit. Bang. Sit. Bella, sit. 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 Bella, sit. Yep. That's sit. it. Good. Good girl. Ah. Hey. Ah. Ah. 
Now those barks are different. Yeah, they're play you? barks. They? Yeah, they? I don't think there's a lot of aggression there at all. Mm. Doesn't matter. Put her in the sit. Bella, sit. Now give her the stay. stay. Now, if she moves out of this stay, Lainey, it is straight, she shouldn't even get her back end off the ground. Okay. You've got to be good as a handler there. I'm talking to you, but I'm watching this dog. Mm -hmm. If he goes to move, I'm like, boom. He doesn't even get up. If, if she gets up and walks four steps, you're not watching her hard enough. She has to know. Remember they were talking about desire and ah, back straight back. Sit. Pull her back in beside. Don't move to her. Sit. Bella. Bella, sit. Push the butt, hold the front. Sit. Okay. See how you're repeating it? You don't need yeah, to repeat yeah. it. Say it too many times. Stop repeating it. You don't need to. Okay? Watch. Yeah. Cyril, sit. Doesn't do it, make him do it. You don't have to say it louder, you don't have to say it more. <laughs> She's heard you, she's ignoring you. You yelling's not going to make it happen more. Okay. She's still ignored you. Once, hands on your dog. Command, direct, praise. Yeah. Command, direct, praise. Exactly. Sit. She doesn't do it. Direct her to do it. Do it. Praise her for doing it. Okay. Command, direct, praise. Okay. She's got to be onto it, okay? Good. Walk confident. Walk into your dog. Yes. Okay, turn around. Use your body as your guide. You use your body to move her where you want her. Okay. That was nice interest though. See what I mean? Turn her back. Put her in the sit. Remember, once. Bella, sit. Now make her do it. Lainey, Good girl. A thousand times better. Good girl. Good girl. That's what I want out of you. Be a handler, be a leader. Yeah. Okay? We're not a friend who feeds our dog, we are leaders to our dogs. Sit, sit and stay. Stay. The interest. But the interest she's shown to this dog is not necessarily aggressive. She's quite curious of this dog. Now I'm going to move around. You keep her in the stay. She's not to move. Let's go. Remember the feedback to, Lane, uh, to Bella that she's doing the right thing is loose lead. So that's perfect. No, you don't have to let more out. But just, yeah. Yeah, loose lead is I'm doing the right thing. Okay. But it's still short enough that if she lunges, you can quickly control her. Good dog, Coco. She's curious of this dog, yeah. but not aggressive. She's like, what is this thing? Yeah. Puppy. Huh? Good dog. Now, this is a point, though, where people get too tempted to go, let's let them meet. Okay, they probably could, but I say you just, for a while, just choose on the fact of having better control of her. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Put her back in that seat, grab her butt, no, and turn her around. Sit. Now, look. Yeah. See that? That's the first time just about she's sat for the one command for you because she's starting to get the message that mum's not going to ask me twice. I feel she's interested in this dog in a nice way, but I, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to tempt fate. I'd rather end the session on a good note where she's been around dogs and she was good and we end it like that. That doesn't mean if you ever want to do another hour one time, we try and go further and get her in the daycare or whatever. But remember, the intent's going to be there. For, She's always going to have that, mm, I want to get to dogs. You just have to teach it. You can't step over the line. Yep. Remember, consequence, desire. Yes, yes. The desire is here. If a consequence drops back and you get slack again and you turn back into the pulling and not the popping and the wrong way to handle, uh -huh. this will all come back. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stay away like that. Dogs will be like this, ebbs and flows, yep. according to how well you train your dog. Oh, they, train yeah, but they'll... they'll if you get lax, they'll go back to old habits. Okay. That's how dogs work. They are that sort of animal. They always want to test you, and they'll try not sitting first time. They'll try doing the wrong. So you've got to keep onto it. Bang, every time. Sit means sit. Stay means stay. Leave it means leave it. The last thing on the commands, don't use them around your dog unless you're going to enforce it. So we don't want to be here all day saying leave it, leave it, because she's hearing that right now, not being made to leave anything. And there's no real connection with it. She needs to hear that word, when there's actually something she's got to leave. Okay. So don't just use it in conversation. That's the same thing as going sit, 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 sit. She's hearing the word 50 times, not being made to do it. The word loses power and ends up meaning nothing. She's got to understand when you give her a command, whether it be sit, stay, come, he'll leave it, stand free, whatever, that it all means something. 